Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at Body Plans and Homeobox Genes. Homeobox genes are a large family of similar genes that direct the formation of many body part structures during early embryonic development. A homeobox is a DNA sequence found within genes that are involved in the regulation of patterns of anatomical development methamorphogenesis in animals, fungi, plants and uh, in humans. So in humans, the homeobox gene family contains an estimated 235 functional genes. Homeobox genes are present on every human chromosome and they often appear in clusters. So many classes on subfamilies of homeobox genes have been described and identified throughout these groupings that are used inconsistently. Homeobox genes contain a particular DNA sequence that provides instructions for making a string of 60 protein building blocks. So um, they're made out of amino acids known as a homeodomain. Most homeodomain containing proteins act as transcription factors, which means that they bind to and control the activity of other genes. The homeodomain is part of the protein that attaches to, so binds to specific regulatory regions on target genes. A homeobox is about 180 base pairs long. It encodes a protein domain which when expressed combined to DNA. So the following shows the uh, consensus 60 residue chain of its corresponding homeobox domain. So homeobox genes encode for transcription factors that typically switch on cascades of other genes. So the homeodomain binds to DNA in a sequence specific manner. However, the specificity of a single homeodomain protein is usually not enough to recognize only its desired target genes. So most of the time, homeodomain proteins act as promoter regions of their target genes as complexes with other transcription factors. Such complexes have a much higher target specificity than a single homeodomain. Homeodomains are encoded both by genes and Hox gene clusters and by other genes throughout the genome. The homeobox domain was first identified in a number of Drosophila so segmented proteins, but is now known to be well conserved in many other animals, including vertebrates. Just point out Drosophila is a fruit fly. <coughs> Genes in the homeobox family are involved in a wide range of critical activities during development. These activities include directing the formation of limbs and organs along the anterior posterior axis and regulating the process by which cells mature to carry out specific functions. Some homeobox genes act as tumor suppressors, which means that they help prevent cells growing and dividing too rapidly in an uncontrolled way. So like we've just said, homeobox genes are a large family of similar genes that direct the formation of many structures. So we can see there a comparison between where we find the homeobox genes in a Drosophila fly in comparison to where we find them in a human. And you can see what corresponding regions or corresponding structures would be coded for by these same genes. The other way that uh, the body can be structured is by apoptosis. So apoptosis is a form of programmed cell death that occurs in multicellular organisms. Biochemical events lead to the characteristic cell changes and death. So these changes include blebbing, cell shrinkage, nuclear fragmentation, chromative condensation, chromosomal DNA, fragmentation and global mRNA decay. So the process that this takes is the enzymes 
break down the cytoskeleton of the uh, cell, the cytoplasm becomes dense with organelles tightly packed together. The cell surface of the membrane changes and small bits start to bleb off. Chromatin condenses and the nuclear envelope breaks, so the DNA breaks down into fragments. So the cell breaks into vesicles that are taken up by phagocytosis, the cellular debris is then disposed of quickly. So apoptosis occurs very quickly within developing organisms. Thanks for watching.